Welcome to the next video in the Tin Terrain system. In this video, I am performing an apples to apples comparison of a 16 kilometer landscape versus a 16 kilometer tin terrain. The steps for the landscape height map were to download a terrain region in TerraSculptor, resample it to a valid world partition landscape size, and export it as PNG 16. The 16K landscape was 16321 by 16321. The steps for the tin mesh creation were using TerraSculptor to download, resample, normalize, and tile split the height map into proper geolocated OBJ meshes. Then I used Autodesk Max to perform the tin creation, but this time I decimated to 200% higher detail than my previous 64 kilometer test. So the detail in the tin terrain this time is gonna be twice as good. Each one kilometer tile was decimated from 1 million vertices to about 25,000 vertices. Both terrain setups were created in separate Unreal projects on my Xeon W7 2495X 24 core, 512 gig RAM, RTX 3090 24 gig system. The landscape and tin projects were then packaged in default builds and tested on three additional computers that I have here. The test computers basically represent the high end with an R9 5950X 16 core, 128 gig RAM, RX 7800 XT 16 gig GPU, the mid-end with a i7 6950X, 64 gig RAM, RTX 2060, 6 gig GPU, and the low end with an i3 12100K, 4 core, 16 gig RAM, GTX 1650, 4 gig GPU. First off, here are some screenshots of the Xeon W7 development system showing the editor play and stat memory for both the landscape and the tin. Next we have the performance screenshots from these three systems that I mentioned. The R9 5950X, the i7-6950X, and the i3-12100K. Note that the tin mesh terrain system in these tests is also not using Nanite, which actually significantly improves the streaming and performance. You can see here that the tin terrain, even without Nanite, beats the performance of the landscape by as much as about 90% faster. This is a basic graph of the performance difference. I then decided to do a test to see just if it is possible to actually build these 16 kilometer projects from scratch on my low end computer. This is an i3 12100K 16 gig RAM, GTX 1650, 4 gig GPU. I get comments all the time from people that they have problems trying to create 16K terrains on their 6 gig or 8 gig GPU systems that the editor crashes. So I thought that I would try it and see how well it works on a system with only 16 gigs of RAM and a 4 gig GPU. The standard landscape importing failed at about 25% with an Unreal Editor full crash. So it was unsuccessful and a total fail. The 16 kilometer tin terrain system all imported and was created without any issues at all. And the system still has additional free memory and decent play and editor performance. This is understandable that the resource requirements would be lower for the tin terrain. Landscape is using height maps, and those are very wasteful means for storing terrain information. My understanding is that Landscape converts the 16-bit height map into RG16 DXT textures for each component, 
and then uses the MIPS for the LOD system. And any height map plus MIPS system is never going to compete with TINs or triangulated irregular networks. My next set of goals for the TIN terrain is to test various optimization systems such as mesh streaming and distance culling, to test materials and foliage, and anything else that I can come up with. Stay tuned for the next video in this series.